Hello, welcome to Namla Guide Solutions, Odisha Vinesar. This is Basir here with today. Samir and Sandeep is here with me. This is Samir from Brahampur, Rafik Zian. This is Sandeep from Chhattisgarh. I uh, is coming for practical sessions with Namla Guide Solutions, Vinesar here. So, guys, today I have a one Dell five zero one zero, very interesting uh, case. Uh, my wish is that to make uh, online uh, practical this but uh, now the situation is not good so I cannot do it online so that I will capture it in offline mode so hope guys I show you the problem you have to be see the problem what is the problems I want to show you when I connect the adapters when I connect the adapters and giving the power switch in the DC it show me good means the standby consumption of ampere is look like good means it indicated me there is standby is generate in this particular model and hope it will be work also but the problem is that when i put the adapters see sorry when i put the battery when i put the battery and i am giving the adapter Guys, I want one thing I have to be uh, uh, told to you. Uh, this is non-chargeable. This is non-Dell PSID uh, adapter because I am connecting in DC only. This is the normal uh, DC jack. So in this mode, it cannot be charged because uh, middle connection center pin is not connected. So when I connect these things, when I put the adapter or DC, when I put being uh, giving the power switch in DC supply, it take 0 0.080. In this time, there is no standby. In this time, there is no standby voltage is generated. No standby. 0, 0. Completely 0, 0. But VIN is available. VIN is 19 volt available. Okay, win 19 volt is available. Here standby standby IC become hot. According to the DC, according to the DC consumptions, it indicate more consumption is there in the board. Because in this architecture, board cannot be charged, battery cannot be charged. But why it type 0 0.080? But still no standby. Okay. But I want to show you. When you giving all the adapters, you can see standby is generate. You can see standby is 3 and 5 volt is generate. And I am giving the power switch. It will also work fine. See, DC consumption is good. Fan is rotations. Fan is now rotated. Means in adapter mode power on. And then if I put the battery and if I remove the adapter, also the board is on positions. You can see this is the core supply, 1.0 volt. You can see 1.0 volt core supply. Fan is also rotating here. In battery, also giving the backup, but cannot charge. And if I will put the adapters once again, you can see direct board ampere is there. If I remove the battery, also backup. If I put the battery. You can see if I put the battery and shut down the systems, also the backup is there. You can see also backup is there. Fan is rotating, sound is uh, you can uh, listen the sound. But when, but when I put the battery first and adapter, then if I put if I giving the power supply switch, it takes 0 0.080 standby not generate and board also not powered on. That means in adapter mode bat board is power on but in battery mode board not power on and cannot be charged. You can see in battery mode I am trying to giving the uh, switch giving the negative trigger but still it, uh, it, it cannot be powered on still it cannot be powered on. Okay. So what may be the problems what may be the situations. And how can I trace these things be practically and in this concept I will show you the theories reverse engineering you will see in all other cases practical reverse engineering but 
today i will show you how to use the reverse engineering of a theory but for the confirmation i will uh, give you confirmation about the vin sorting maybe the vin sorting or not i have to be first and first i have to be check all the vin mosfet no there is no sorting no so discharge mosfet discharge mosfet is also fine second mosfet of vin also fine okay charging mosfets also look fine means no vin issue no vin issue so to confirm the gate voltage in adapter mode i have to be check it first mosfet get whether that is okay or not this is the first mosfet this is the gate and gate supply is 3.12 means gate also okay standby also generate and now i'm going to be confirm another one things so you have to be see the 15 volt you can see here in the dso i want to show you here one thing i am uh, clearing you this is the 15 volt maker you can see 15 volt you can see uh, this 15 volt have the pulse you can see because this is the uh, pumping technology it will like uh, show you the pulse you can see 15 volt have the pulse this is should be 10 volt yes this should be 10 volt second uh, second diode okay here i want to uh, give you one clue you can see this is the uh, uh, starting position of the dso zero lines if this 15 volt is okay or problem if this 15 volt is okay it will show from uh, um, pointing lines to a hub if if it is problematic definitely it will go down from pointing arrows to from zero portions to down down portions at that time you have to know there is the problem in 15 voltage but here it show me it absolutely fine and pulse is also proper and pulse is also proper means my 15 volt is also working fine to show you these things to confirm how you can confirm your 15 volt is okay or have any problems so that is the my point to show you but here is the no problems so come back to the boards now i am confirm you because it is powered on in adapter mode uh, many guys will thought there is the filter capacitor issue you can uh, i am going to be confirm you this is the three line you can see this is the three line a uh, confirmations just hold i am giving the trigger for auto mode you can see there is no there is no nothing in the problems you can see there is nothing it's it's look like good this is the five volt you can see this is the five volt it's also look like fine hold i'm giving auto reset so there is no his there is no problem 5 volt is absolutely fine and 100 percent okay and some guys will thought there is the hall issue so i am confirming this is the hall also 3.2 volt input 3.2 volt and output also 3.2 volt that means no issue in the hall sections standby sections but still why this types of problem is occurred so let's we will uh, see it in the uh, uh, complete video in full video or solution video this is the only uh, i am show you the demo video if anybody will interested to uh, uh, um, full video can contact with me or can contact by whatsapp telegram or in youtube i have the numbers so thank you I uh, hope what may be the problems it is the common fault in 5010 and this is infected also in Dell all architectures like 3542, CDAR, Intel, Janos, SKL, KBL and Iris, Turis, Vegas, uh, Lollipop and whatever the board is coming in the Dell architecture that all the board are infected by these types of virus, these types of problems. So let's will come and show off the solution in the solution video. This is the demo video. So sorry guys, I cannot show I can't show you the full videos. So full video is fair. Thank you.